uh, how they use their time and their resources, their financial resources, and um, uh, you don't really get much at the end of it. Yeah. On your end, they get a lot. What do you really get? <laughs> you know, you wake up one day after 10 years and you go in a, some drawers or a closet or something and, you know, got a lot of pants. Boom, boom. Some shoes that they're telling you are all antiquated, you know. That Drop know, them off at the secondhand you, shop. You know, what do you really have at the end? And, you know, um, you know I told someone the other day, I mean, the, the, for me, it's just the, the only kind of position for me right now is personal. Yeah. Uh, but it might apply to some other people is uh, no self, no expression. No self, no expression. Follow the clouds. Follow the clouds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Steve. If people want to reach out to you, how do they reach out to you? Through your site or through... Uh, uh, what? No, you know, I don't particularly need anybody to I know you don't. reach out to me. I'm not, I'm not looking for followers. I'm not looking for, you I know, know, this know. is it, the new Scientology. It's not, you know. Dude, that it, whole Scientology is crazy. You know, it's, uh, it really is. I just thought I should start it. You know, I kind of just laughed when the logo was conceived. And from that kind of sense of how, how would you say you say you just thought you just started right how many what, how, how many projects in your in your in your, your span have you started i mean it's, my god it's, it's awesome isn't it you're maybe spectrum a, maybe a thousand a thousand projects yeah i've probably done a thousand maybe more i don't know i don't have any clear from record but i know it's got to be a thousand in every category food advertising oh, yeah, I've done <laughs> every category I mean, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've been integrated into the arts. I was an art dealer. I was a concert uh, impresario. Uh, I did arts uh, marketing, public relations, fundraising. Uh, I was in the nightclub business. I designed nightclubs. I uh, marketed nightclubs. I promoted nightclubs. I managed nightclubs. I invested in nightclubs. Uh, same thing with restaurants, the whole kind of 360 degrees, uh, you know, that kind of escalated into the hotel industry. I don't yeah. own or manage any of the properties, but all the kind of soft parts, the communication aspects I've uh, done. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been in the advertising industry, I've been in the public affairs. How do people describe you? They don't. <laughs> you know, in the old days when we used uh, Rolodexes, yeah. I used to have people, you know, remember, I started yeah. around 1970. Yeah. So by it got to the time of the late 80s, people would say, Stephen, I have no room on my Rolodex. I've changed what you do, <laughs> how I contact you so many times. So I just said, throw out the car. doesn't matter. True, true, true. <laughs> you know, I don't care. I it's more about me finding you than you finding me. <laughs> I like that. You know, if I'm kind of interested, I'll kind of make some little bridge to you. I, 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 like I said, I'm not... I just, of course, I need money just so when I walk around, it's the way we act. We talk to each other with money. Yeah, we don't true. talk to each other with words. So I need money to talk to other people. <laughs> true. Very true. Very true. Very true. If I didn't need money to talk to other people, because it costs money to talk even on the phone. Right, right. Yeah. You know, every time I want to talk to someone, somehow it seems like uh, I have to pay for it. Ooh. So uh, that's wicked, dude. And uh, I'm glad I bumped into you yeah. as always. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, thanks. <laughs>